What's going on guys? Welcome to another Madden 25 video. In this video, I'm gonna go over Mutt cards that are being released here as far as ranking ratings go. We got the offensive linemen, we got DNs, D tackles, halfbacks for release today, and inside linebackers. Let's jump right into it. All right, starting off with the offensive linemen, they got their top 10 linemen. I think there's no secret that, you know, uh, first thing we're gonna break down this list, but no secret Trent Williams, the best lineman in football, um, him at the top. Uh, you, you see Panay, you see Joe up there. Um, also, 84 overalls, by the way. So 84 being the highest rating. Um, and, and you would think that that's going to be pretty much where Mutt starts this year. 84 being the highest overall for the base cards, right? So you got Trent uh, all the way to the number five spot, which is uh, Rag now. He's 84 as well. And then it drops off a little bit to Quentin Nelson, Creed Humphrey, Lane Johnson, who is the... Uh, Second best right tackle in football, according to this Mutt rankings, and then Smith, and then followed by Lindstrom. So uh, these are your offensive linemen. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I feel like all these guys are deserving of these spots. Let's move on to the next position here. Chris Jones leading the way at the defensive tackle spot, being 84 overall. I think he is clearly the best D tackle in football. Dexter Lawrence, Quinn Williams, follow him. Uh, Matabuke right there as well. And then uh, it drops off to 82s. And then at the end of the, you know, this isn't a strong set of D tackles, right? The defensive tackles, in my opinion, are kind of down in the league. But um, you see it all the way down to 80 being in the top 10. So there's your D tackle list. I don't think, again, I think maybe Dexter Lawrence in the two spot for me. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard names here that you'll see. Maybe DeForest Buckner, maybe that is my Niner bias coming out. DeForest Buckner should be maybe a little bit higher, but um, other than that, I think D tackles, I mean, we're right here, right? Best D tackle in football, Chris Jones, unblocked in the Super Bowl and one of the biggest plays of the Super Bowl. Congrats, man. All right, we're moving on. Next position that we're gonna talk about is defensive ends. Just to just to, to go a little bit further, so they got Max Crosby as the best and in, in, in in mutt to start the season i mean okay that's fine um i do want to talk about speed though michael parsons is 84 speed that card is going to be insane early on i'll tell you why in a second we definitely need to get that card uh miles garrett bosa hendrickson hayward again names that you, that belong on this list um and then it, it wraps up with cameron jordan and, and kenny clark so um, back to the speed thing, 84 speed, right? For Micah Parsons. Um, I, I do want to say that that is the fastest card here easily. Um, you got Bosa, Garrett, um, with decent speed. Trey Hendrickson, Trey Hendrickson is like, I believe 79 speed too. He's a little bit faster than Bosa. So, um, definitely someone that you could look at, but overall, these are the ends that are going to be the top 10 to start Madden ultimate team. Um, you know, that pass rush is definitely going to be needed out there early on. So we'll be trying to get a couple of these guys on my roster. Let's talk halfbacks. Christian McCaffrey. We, without a doubt, best halfback in football. He deserves the 84. Nick Chubb coming back off injury, 83. You got Saquon and Henry in new situations. I, I think they're both uh, amazing. I, I'm cool with that rating. Um, ETN, Josh Jacobs, Aaron Jones. And a new spot, those Vikings weapons are crazy. Uh, Joe Mix, a lot of new places and new in new places. You got Jacobs, Aaron Jones, Mixon. And then you got two guys at the bottom. I think they're a little bit underrated, actually. I think Jonathan Taylor and Brees Hall can move up on this list a little bit. Uh, both of them. I think Brees Hall and Jonathan Taylor are too low. Um, overall, though, I did want to talk about the speed rating, right? We talked about Michael Parsons being 84 speed. Uh, he is the fastest player of... Any of these, none of these players are faster than Micah Parsons to start. All right, so speed is going to be interesting how they do it because him being 84 speed, according to the that, that picture that I, the graphic that I saw earlier, and then I saw Christian McCaffrey at 82 speed and Chubb at 81. I think one of these guys is 79 speed. I think maybe Joe Mixon's like 79 speed. Um, it, it's interesting, right? So hopefully. Uh, we get a little bit more info on how speed is going to be with these running backs because I think the running back position being that slow is just bad early on. It, it makes none of these guys really uh, desirable. You don't you really want none of these guys on your roster. You're just waiting for that next promo to come out for a running back. And, it's, and in my opinion, 
it shouldn't necessarily be, necessarily be that way. Running backs is, is is always a popular position, and none of these guys being like super usable early on, um, it, it's 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 terrible in my opinion. Like none of these guys should be in the seven high seventies for for speed. I just think that's bad. But let me know what you guys think in the, in, in, in the comment section. What do you think about the halfback speed rating? Too low, or or you think it's it's right? All right, so uh, you have that, and then now middle linebackers were just released. Fred being the best in the world, followed by Roquan, the Mario Davis. Um, did you see those are your top three linebackers? And then you go down the list, right? Uh, you still see Bobby Wagner on here, Jermaine Edmonds, and last but not least, Shaq Thompson. So here's your list of linebackers. Um, and one thing to note about linebackers, this year linebackers are, are able to animate. So um, contrary to the previous years in Madden where middle linebackers didn't matter it didn't matter if you're releasing a ray lewis or patrick willis nobody wanted those cards really unless you're like a super ravens fan or niners fan you're making a theme team because those cards they didn't animate they didn't jump all right so um those cards are now going to be more desirable because you are able to animate on defense with your linebackers so they don't have to have uh an ability to make them jump right lurker or whatever it may be so these guys to start the season, you know, maybe maybe we're, we're looking at some guys that are going to be on your guys' team, right? So Fred Warner, I definitely would would want that card to be on my team. And one thing one thing that I did want to talk about was one thing that I did want to talk about again, speed rating, right? Eighty speed for Fred Warner. We're just going to cycle through these real quick. Eighty one for Roquan, eighty for Demario, eighty two for Oluokan, eighty for David, eighty for Mosley. Bobby Wagner a little bit slower, Tremaine Edmonds at 80, and then Okereke at 82, Shaq Thompson at 70. So Okereke might be sought after a little bit more. So there's your speed ratings for the inside linebackers. Again, um, those guys are, and I want to compare it just so you guys can see. I want you guys to look at those speeds compared to these speeds here. 82 for McCaffrey, 81 for Chubb, 82 for Henry. It's just look, look, like these guys are not going to be that fast, right? They're going to be relatively slow. Josh Jacobs, 80 speed. Aaron Jones 77 speed. No, this is insane, right? So, like, they're super slow. Brees Hall 79 speed. Like, just not a fan of the speed rating early on. But I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out, right? We'll have to see. Um, does it really does it really affect the gameplay in a large way? Uh, what promos are coming out immediately that are gonna have halfbacks in it? So those things will matter. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 where we're at. We're at 84 is the highest rating right now. I'm, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that, uh, but I do understand they want to scale back even more, give the game a bigger lifespan. So I do get it at the same time. But the speed rating scale back a lot, right? 77 speed for a top 10, a top seven uh, running back in, in the game to start the season. I'm not sure if I've seen it that low. Um, let me know what you guys, uh, if you guys remember it being that bad um, in previous years. Maybe, you know, just bad memory on my part, right? So, uh, Thoughts on the speed rating. I'm really interested in what you guys think to start the Mutt season. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. More to come. Hit the sub button. A lot of you guys are watching these videos that aren't subscribed. Hit the sub button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.